Hey everybody, Lance Goike here. We are going to discuss the aerobic energy system today. So uh, the video we did previously, we kind of introduced these three different energy systems, the aerobic system, the alactic anaerobic, and the lactic anaerobic. Um, what we're talking about today is the aerobic system. So if you recall, what does aerobic mean? Aerobic means that I'm creating this energy with oxygen. And so that's the primary thing that defines this energy system. Now, if we were to get into some of the biochemistry, you're going to find out that the, there's it's not that the pathway is super complicated, though it kind of is. It's that there's a lot of pathways. And so if we talk about that lactic anaerobic system, the glycolytic system, that whole function of glycolysis is basically this entire other system, right? This lactic anaerobic system. But in the aerobic system, it's also just the first step of the aerobic system. And then we go and we do a lot of other stuff after that. So if that gives you some sort of uh, perspective on the complexity of the aerobic system, primarily the aerobic system is going to produce the majority of your usable energy, your adenosine triphosphate, your ATP. Um, and and that it, because of that and because of the complexity, those two reasons, um, there's a lot of room for improvement with it. So if you think about the, the alactic anaerobic system and you think about people trying to get fast or trying to jump higher, those changes aren't usually very dramatic. But if you take someone off a couch and then train them to do a 5K, like those two states of people are completely different. And that's because, you know, primarily, at least in my mind, that's because the aerobic energy system is is um, very malleable and has is subject to change. So um, we're going to talk about different aerobic activities. The, the biggest points that I want to hit on is that it's it's very changeable and it's um, it's supporting most of your energy. Um, the third and final point is that it's it's kind of slow to get going. So if I don't warm up, I don't give it time to get going and I have to use some of those other those without oxygen systems and I'm more prone to gassing out or getting really, really tired, so tired that I can't really recover from it. Um, so a proper warm up is probably the best way to deal with this, but there are other ways that we can do. We can, we can purposefully repeat sprints over and over and over again to actually train the aerobic system's ability to you know, replenish the, um, I want to say substrates because that's the word, but replen get rid of all the byproducts of, of the uh, exercise that we've done. Help us fight off the fatigue and help us keep our performance at a really high level as even as we, you know, get later and later into, say, a game or into a workout. So <laughs> let's see if I can remember those three points. Uh, the aerobic system produces most of your energy. It takes a while to get going and it's very, uh, it's very malleable and it takes a while to get going. So those are our three major take homes for the aerobic energy system.